Hi and welcome to this new video and in this video I'm going to be talking about Nemesis which is a new feature released in version 1.16 of Velostrone a week ago. I'm going to talk about some bug fixes that we've done since it was released a week ago. Um, I'm going to talk about what Nemesis actually is and then show you it working and also some of the new features that will be coming out in a patch later today. I'm also going to talk about what's going to be coming later with Nemesis as well because there is one more feature that I'm going to add. Okay, so what is Nemesis? Nemesis is basically offline multiplayer. So you're basically racing against flights that have been uploaded to the leaderboard from players all around the world and you can race against those flights. So you'll see the actual flights that those players flew and the quad that they flew, the flight lines that they took. So it's a direct representation of the flight that they flew in order to set their time on the leaderboard. And if you beat the pilots that you're pitted against and you upload a new time to the leaderboard, it will then give you times that are very close to your new time to race against. And you basically work your way up the leaderboard, slowly being pitted against faster and faster pilots until such time as you can't beat the pilots you're pitted against and at that point you found your nemesis because it's the pilot directly above you on the leaderboard and you can carry on grinding and try and beat that pilot or you can go off and fly another track improve your skills and then come back later and try and beat your nemesis for that particular track so that's kind of why it's called nemesis <coughs> i apologize if i cough a bit during this video unfortunately i've got a really bad cough at the moment And talking a lot, which is what I'm going to be doing during this video, tends to set it off. So I apologise if I cough a little bit. Okay, so we're going to select a quad. <clears throat> and then we're going to run this track, rctech.de, spec series 3, race 6 in NEC Birmingham. This track was actually used in Nemesis mode for qualifying for a multiplayer race. So there are loads of times on the board, some of them extremely quick. Uh, which I'm not going to be able to beat, particularly on the machine and monitor I'm using at the moment because it's a design monitor which has lovely colours which is great for making videos but is terrible for gaming because the refresh rate is awful. <clears throat> Ready to race. Okay, so now we're in the scene. If I go to the leaderboard You'll be able to see all the times on the leaderboard and I think it goes up to a hundred and something. Let's go down here. Yeah, 119. So lots and lots of times on this leaderboard to race against. The two slowest ones at the bottom here, Smith Family and El Frosto. So these are most likely beginner pilots. <coughs> the quad they used, their times. And of course, if you want to one-on-one -on -one race any pilot on the board, you can do that in today's update to Nemesis. So you'll be able to click the race button now and just one-on-one -on -one race a particular pilot on the board if that's what you want to do. If you don't want to do that, then you can also just start a race and it will pit you against whichever pilots are closest to your time. Now, if you haven't set a time on a leaderboard, which is the case for me on this particular track, then it will pit you against the two slowest times on the track. The other thing that I'll mention here is that of these two times, one of these flights is actually a flight that had a problem when it was being recorded and it ends early. The flight data for the flight ends early, which is El Frosto, this one here. Now there are a few of these races on, on, the, on the leaderboard. They're, they're a minority, fortunately, but there are a few races on the board where the flight ends early. And in the current release, those flights get flagged as finished before you because the flight data just ends. And in the current release, before today's release, it will flag the flight as finished as soon as it runs out of race data. In this new update, it won't flag the flight as finished until it gets to the actual leaderboard time. So you won't have a situation where you're flying against a slower pilot like El Frosto here. Uh, and then because their flight data is cut short, it flags them as finished way too early and you don't actually get to beat them. So that problem is, is now resolved. And actually in future, pilots who 
don't manage to record a full flight won't be able to upload them either the sim will actually just upload a blank flight for those uh, and you'll be able to see that on the board because it it won't give you those pilots to fly against because they're a blank flight and if you try and race a pilot who uploaded a a corrupt flight then again it won't actually download any data and you won't be able to race them but i'm expecting those to be few and far between because we put a bunch of fixes in to stop all that sort of thing from happening nemesis is very new so we're only a week in and uh, we're still finding the well, in fact there's only been one bug uh, and i have i think resolved that in this latest update okay so let's get into it so if i click start you'll see over here it will download on the left here it will download two pilots which will be Smith family and El Frosto and then it will start the race and off we go and I need to beat those pilots and set a time on the board in order to get some pilots who are similar to the sort of speed that I race so here we go I'm just kinda of gonna cruise around here not too quickly actually really struggle to race on this monitor anyway because it's quite a slow refresh so I'm not going to be able to set particularly fast times on this particular machine but I use it for the videos because it it reproduces the colors perfectly being a design monitor As you can see, I've left those two pilots behind by quite some distance already because they are beginners. But it's important for Nemesis to have beginner flights as well because we want Nemesis to be useful for people across the board. So, you, you know, beginners want to be able to race beginners and pro pilots want to be able to fly pro pilots. So it's important that we have a complete spread of flights, even though it may be frustrating for a a pro pilot to race against the beginner when they first race on the track that's only going to happen for the very first race where they set their first time and then after that they'll be pitted against pilots who are of a similar speed to however fast they flew the track <coughs> which we'll see in a moment when I get to the end of this race and just coming around to lap El Frosto here which was the purple pilot Now, normally the green pilot is the fastest pilot that you'll be racing whenever you're racing in Nemesis and purple is the second fastest pilot then cyan is the third fastest pilot and then red is the slowest of the pilots that you race against and it's useful to remember those colors that green is basically the the fastest pilot you'll be pitted against and red is the slowest pilot you'll be pitted against and if you want to be given automatically new times at the end of a, a nemesis, nemesis session you need to beat all of the pilots you're given including the green one and the way nemesis works is it gives you two faster pilots and it gives you two slower pilots so it gives you basically two pilots directly above you on the leaderboard and two pilots directly below you and the reason it does that is to put you in the middle of a race so you know that the cyan and the red pilot are basically your pacemen you need to fly at least as fast as those and the purple and the green pilot are the pilots that you're trying to beat in order to get a new time onto the leaderboard so at the end of the race you can see here that it's put red skulls next to smith family and el frosto and that's because my time was faster and so both of these pilots have been defeated if they finish before me then you would see checkered flags here other thing to mention is it has my name here and I've got no time on the board which is why this says all zeros and this little button here is to re is to go and get new times from the board which I'll come on to a little bit later and just mention when you might want to press that so I'm going to put my time on the leaderboard here with an upload and it's put me at position 106 so I've got a couple of pilots a second faster than me and a couple of pilots who are a second or five seconds slower than me so if I now start a new race it 
it's now got me those new pilots and I now need to race against those so this one's going to be a slightly tougher race because these pilots are going to be a little bit quicker this time so I need to up my game now remember the green and the purple are the two pilots I need to beat and those are in fact the two pilots who are directly in front of me at the moment I need to make sure I stay ahead of those two guys They're currently behind me at the moment looks like we all had a bit of a crash in the in that first dive gate Position 101. Oh, that wasn't very good. Go through the recharge here, fix my quad. So the green pilot is currently right behind me there. I forgot the track a moment. I haven't flown this track that much, so occasionally I forget where I'm going. Forty-six point zero three, position ninety-seven. Like that. Forgot where I was going again. Okay, so we'll upload my time again and you can see I beat all of these pilots so these have all been defeated I'm now at position 94 on the leaderboard and I've got one pilot three seconds ahead of me and one pilot 11 seconds ahead of me so robot which will be the green pilot in this next batch of pilots is going to be quite a bit faster than I just flew and of course the pilots directly behind me are also going to be faster so I'm going to be in much more of a competitive race this time and any mistakes are going to be costly <coughs> It's okay because I, I need to show what will happen here if I get beaten by pilots I'm racing against. May manage to catch catch some of these, but it's doubtful I'm going to catch the fastest pilots here. Now, bear in mind that during the course of a race, although the red pilot is the slowest pilot, they may not be at the back of the field all the time because who's in the lead can change during a race so you need to be careful that you don't just assume that the green pilot is going to be in the lead all of the time because they may not be they may you know come through on the last lap to be in the lead This is the red pilot I'm coming up on now. So I think this guy is probably the last place man at the moment. And I know the other pilot who was with him was not that far ahead of him at the end of the race. So I'm probably going to come up on that pilot quite quickly here as well. I think. I think I may have already passed him because this is the purple pilot coming up on here and I've just overtaken but we oh no I haven't overtaken him he's just ahead of me the 
green pilot has already finished so I haven't managed to beat them and you can see the purple pilot finished ahead of me as well there so if we look at the stats now you can see that the two faster pilots than me did in fact still beat me but I did beat pilots that I've beaten on the board before so this was a non-improvement in terms of times and you can see which pilots finished and which pilots I still managed to beat. So I'm not going to carry on because I think this probably explains how Nemesis works and you basically you just keep flying until you beat all the pilots. If I was to start another race here it won't actually download any new pilots because I didn't beat these two so if I just click start here you'll see it just goes straight in with the same pilot so it will just keep pitting you against them until you beat them and of course you can also if you want to just kind of track these pilots and fly some chase cam <clears throat> and from this you can kind of also work out how the track flows as well because these are you know better pilots effectively they know the track so you can get a feel for how to fly the track you can see the green pilot here coming round I'm just following them round as they fly it Okay, so I think it's the idea. Now the other feature I mentioned was that you can race any pilot on the board. So if I just want to race robot, I can go to where they were, which was down here somewhere. Where is he? 92. Oops. 92. So I can click race here. And it will just now give me robot to race against. So if I you know don't want the distractions of lots of other quads, I just want to try and beat this particular player. And you do have that option to you know, get in a real grudge match with one particular quad. Plus 16.33, position 90. Plus 28.29, position 81. there we go so you know without all the other quads as a distraction I've just raced that single pilot on his own let's just move away from this generator behind me stop that buzzing so I now have de defeated that particular pilot so I can now upload my time to the board you can see I'm now at position 79 and if I now click the reload button this will take me out of a single match and put me back into a full nemesis match and there we go it's now downloaded a new set of pilots for me to race against all of whom are faster than robot was so now if I run this race 
these will all be much quicker pilots and a fairly tough oops fairly tough to beat and I've already made a hash of it too many trails in my face probably needed to turn off trails if I was going to race those guys let's just do that you can turn off the trails by pressing T if you don't have to have the trails on I can see a bit better you can see that all these pilots are basically as similar speed to how I flew it last time and it's going to be an even bigger challenge this time to to beat these guys but that's you know that's the the really nice thing about nemesis is it's just going to pit you against guys who are flying at the speed that you flew so that it's going to challenge you but always put you in a, a you know really good race because you are racing pilots who are effectively exactly the same speed as you as you just managed they're you at your best Okay, anyway, let's, uh, let's turn those trails back on and you can see these guys flying around and the lines that they're taking and so on. Okay, so uh, that's it. That's Nemesis. Uh, I hope it all makes sense. Uh, and uh, as I say, the only other function that's coming that we haven't done yet is View Flight, which will be here. Uh, and when you click on that you'll be able to view the flight in FPV from that pilot's point of view with their sticks on the screen and all the rest of it. Okay, so that's it and I'll see you in the next video.